Yeah. So basically, like my my general opinion of college in regards to getting to cybersecurity, mm -hmm. right? So I think that at a high level, I'd say that you don't one hundred percent need a college degree to get into cybersecurity, right? It's not a necessity, right? Just the same way, you know, you don't always need like there there's specific things you just don't need, right? But it's not also to say that it's not helpful or it's not important. Now, I think my rule of thumb now that I'm, you know, um, I'm now graduated and um, I deal with a lot of people who are students and are just kind of like getting into the industry. My general rule of thumb and advice is if you're young, right, which is like between the ages of like 18 and 25, 26, you know, you don't have any responsibilities. You're not married. You don't have any kids. Um, and, you know, you're, you have the time, right? I don't think there's anything wrong in college. Uh, for some people, it's, you know, a good first major education experience to have. Um, and also, like, for those who will, you know, do it on campus, in person, it's good to have, like, you know, that social aspect to it, right? You know, meet people and stuff like that. Um, so I think at that high level, there's nothing wrong with it. But I think if you're going to do go to college route, right, it should be approached with more caution and precision than people put into it, right? So I, I made an analogy um, on a, a recent video where I analyzed the top three colleges in the United States from my perspective. And I said that if you're going to buy a $100,000 car, right, you're not just going to like wake up one day, walk into the dealership and just pick up the car whether you have the money or not except if you're really really financially irresponsible um so if you're you know going to do that you typically would like research the car like oh i like this car you know let me see like what issues does he have stuff like that right and just kind of learn more about the car and then you you research reputable dealerships right where this car is being sold where you can buy this car, make sure like they have good reviews and stuff like that. And then, you know, save up your money, go there and then purchase the car. In the same breath, um, in terms of college, right? College, a lot of times costs like tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So in the same breath, you should first and foremost, research the program you want to go to, which is the car in this case, right? Research the program, look at, you know, alumni, look at what people are seeing about it. Like if they learn anything from it, then research the college itself, right? So the college in this case is the dealership, right? So research, you know, what are people saying about this college, right? You know, what's the cost and everything? And then decide if you want to put your money into that. I think a lot of people don't really put a lot of time, thought and effort into researching these programs and these colleges and the results they have from these programs before actually putting their money down, right? And it's like the first biggest financial decision you ever make. So I think to sum it up, it's nothing wrong in going to college for cybersecurity, but I think that more effort and time and deliberation um, and conscious thinking should go into it before you put all of that money down, all that time down um, into a college education, specifically for cybersecurity. So, yeah, that's my opinion. On it. Yeah, dope, man. So would you say, and it might be hard for you to say this, because it's hard for us to say these things when we were already doing something, when we we're going through school or not, right? For me... Some of the yeah. sentiments that you just said or things that I told my younger brothers when it came to them, oh, I want to go to this school, that school. And I was like, why? Like one of them is at my alma mater doing my major. And I'm like, why are you? I wanted him to do community college. Dot com has a great cybersecurity boot camp that's for beginners and teaches you cybersecurity fundamentals and 10 core basic courses. The Springboard boot camp will show you how to use tools like Splunk, Wireshark, Kali Linux, MMAP, Metasploit and much more. The boot camp is six months long and has a total of 66 projects for you to complete before graduating from the program. Springboard believes in their program so much that if you do not find a role after six months of graduating, then they will give you your money back. Sign up now and use my discount code TEXTUAL to get $1,000 off your boot camp price. The link will be in the description. Just because it's mm. cheaper and he would have got some search from it. And then I would probably help them get an internship, which I'm trying to do now, but I need him to at least get this cloud practitioner. He needs something on his resume. 
But I was trying to convince my other brother who's about to graduate from high school and go to college said, oh, if you want to go to college, come to UNT. You'll be down the street from it. It'll be better than the options that you have at uh, Northwestern. And I think one of the things that still cannot be replicated as much from maybe online learning is in person in school, the, the connections and networks that you make, right? Is which what I tell yeah. a lot of young people that that's what really school is really for. You're really paying for a networking experience. Yeah. So it's important to go to the right school so that you can make the right connections. Secondly, yeah. like you mentioned, the curriculum. I get people that hit me up all the time and say, hey, can you review this curriculum for this school? And sometimes I'm like, uh, okay, cool. I'm looking at it. And then I'll say, okay, this looks good or this doesn't look good. And one yeah. of the reasons why we see less and less people go to school for cybersecurity is because that finding out that the curriculum didn't help them much to prepare for the real world. Whereas right. <laughs> the boot camps seem to be more to be structured in a way that it can help you land something entry level, whether or not it's going to be that first cybersecurity role. It may be an entry level IT role that you land and you're worked on mm-hmm. skills that you'll need to land a job. I think that's always the biggest thing that has been for me when it's come to recommending people to go to school or not. I've always said, okay, look at the curriculum, see if it comes with cert, see what type of classes you're taking, see if these classes resemble what are on job descriptions. If they don't, try to find a better program because you don't want to waste that time or money. And so, and while we're on this topic too, since you went to WGU, I have a friend that's been thinking about transitioning for a while now, and he was thinking about going to WGU but he wants to do cloud stuff. And I said, although WGU is affordable, and this is just me based on some of the things that I've seen from the people I've seen to go to WGU, and you can you know, rebut this. Although I feel like it's a yeah. good experience, I feel like some of the stuff that they have the people do for us, like some of the certifications and classes that they take maybe aren't needed and could possibly have them just focusing on things that will not help them get better and what they really need to get in fast enough. Versus having them just focus on all the things that you would need to learn, like just to be in the cloud. Like, I don't see why a person that's going to go do a technical role needs to actually go take the the Project Plus or or something. Like some of those classes I've seen people post from there and I'm kind of like, why they have you getting that? Like, I get it. Like one time I didn't have to take a, pro- a Project Plus class, but I did have to use Microsoft Project in my capstone. But, it, you know, that was just hey something mm-hmm. to use. I can see the benefit of that yeah. when you are developing something in a project and you're driving from start to finish. That's a little bit different, but yeah. having me fixate however long it takes for me to learn this material and then go past the certification, I don't feel like it's conducive to me learning what I actually need to learn because that's really one of the other issues when it comes with colleges. And I experience this being a quarter system. You spend nine, ten weeks learning all the stuff, and then by the time you get to the next quarter, you forgot what you learned. There's no yeah. continuity between what you learn in class to class. So that's the whole issue. Now, if they could do it like that, 